What is up guys? This is Thinking Through Code here to teach you a lot more about GUI applications using TK Inter in Python. Um, today we're going to talk about geometry management and frames, something very important and a very basic concept that you need to master in order to properly create something that can be used out there in the world. So without further ado, let's get right to it. So what exactly is geometry management? If we can sum it up in one sentence, geometry management is the optimization of all space inside of your window. Okay. Uh, we saw on our last video that uh, when you create a GUI application, you create a main window where everything's going to go inside of it. Geometry management will simply use all the space in the best way possible. So to actually display this, we, we let's just use the, the analogy of a GUI application resembling a wall filled with tools, right? So uh, th that's what your GUI is going to be at the end of the day, right? It's basically just a window that has a bunch of buttons, a bunch of labels, a lot of widgets that the user is going to use to to uh, get to an endpoint, to have something that they want at the end. It could be uh, some type of data. It could be a simulation. It could be anything. But it's basically just a wall pack with tools. And that's, that's what happens when you go into your garage. What do you look into? You look at the wall and you... You're looking for what you need there and uh, your wall should be arranged in order for you to to find exactly what you need and that's what your gui is going to be for your own user so let's dig right into this analogy and and let me just explain it a little bit further so on this wall that is uh, filled with tools we see that there's a bit of a flow in uh, everything that is uh, inside of it for example, we see that on the red square, we have our hammers and everything that is used to hammer down something. So uh, if we go back into our GUI application, that could be a wall for buttons that are related to uh, gathering data, right? Or an entry entry widgets where you, you enter your name, your birth date, or any other information that is relevant to what we want to do with our, with our app. Um, on the blue... Uh, square we see that we have our cutting tools on the green one we have everything that is adhesive like scotch tape and even on the yellow square you're going to see that we have all of our fasteners so uh, screws and bolts and nuts so that's basically this is an example of geometry management that people already do in their daily lives right uh, whenever something is messy like imagine this wall was really messy i i wouldn't be able to, to find a saw for example and it would be really easy for me to get uh, get my finger cut if i'm digging into something so like um let's just give it an example what if we have we put a hammer right over here okay now now why would you do that right that this doesn't make sense why would someone do that uh if you put a hammer right there it just doesn't make sense why why would someone decide to reach out for near the blades right so we realize that that's poor geometry management that's a really good example uh you, if someone wants to reach for that hammer they, they could really cut themselves because it's right in front of the blades well that's exactly what you need to do with your gui application if someone needs something they should be able to find it right away in your window and um, I actually read this that was very insightful when when I was uh, looking into what makes a good uh, GUI application and it says it's something that is almost on the background so it is so good and so user-friendly that it's uh, it's running on the background and you're not even realizing it because there's a certain flow to it and everything is organized and you don't need to spend that much time trying to decipher it so while explaining to you what it is, I kind of gave you a bit of a hint of why we need geometry management. But just to make it even more clear, number one, it creates a flow within the elements of your application. Just like there was flow in the tool wall that we saw previously, that's exactly what you need to have in your app. After that, we can see that it is visually pleasing. Then we move on to organized. And then the last reason would be that the sizes of your widgets, like buttons, labels, entry widgets, etc., are actually balanced within your window. And if we gather all of this information together and we could put it in one word, it's user experience. So why do you want a better user experience? Because no matter how good your application is and no matter what it does and how fast it is and how efficient it is, if people cannot use it or cannot understand it or are having a hard time uh, moving around with it and and uh, figuring out how everything ties together, they're not going to buy it. So this is something very important in any software engineer or programmer 
that is out there trying to create something for this world is that you need to understand that people need to buy your product and need to like using your product. So when we're talking about geometry management, we can talk about a very special widget called frame. A frame is basically just going to be a widget that is displayed as a rectangle on your GUI application. From what you can see on the example right in front of your screen, I created a GUI with a frame that is right in the middle, right in the center, and it's just a square. You could put it whatever color you wanted, you can make it recess, you could have a border width, and any size that you want, but that's what a frame is. A frame has many special qualities, by the way. Um, this is another GUI that I coded just to display this, is that it's going to organize your user interface. From what you can see here, uh, like I said, there needs to be a flow in your GUI app. It needs to be easy to easy to understand, and there needs it needs to be very well organized. You see that there's one frame at the top that is for your title, which is on purple. Another one on the left that is for your buttons, and the last, the bigger one on the right that is for your simulation. And that's very user friendly. And if we go back to our analogy, you, you see right here that all those squares that I told you guys where they're colorful is they can actually be compared to frames. So we have a frame for our hammers, another one for our adhesives, for our fasteners. You get it. You know, it's very something, it's something that will group things that are associated with one another together. Another very nice quality for frames is that, like I said, it, it groups things that are associated together. It's going to act as a parent widget for other sub widgets within each frame. And that's very important. From what you can see here, for example, we added more widgets into our application. We have an emergency button, a preview button, a simulate button, and a save button. Now, on that frame, we have all these buttons that are associated to that frame. You know, so there, these buttons are sub widgets and uh, they, they belong to that frame as it is. And uh, let's just look at the tiny little logo that I added as an hexagon on the left side of the frame that contains the title. So whenever I move that frame, the title that is the label and the logo are going to follow it. And that's uh, that's basically the parent-child relationship between widgets in, GU in a GUI application in TK Inter. Now the last special quality of frames is that it's going to organize your application at the coding level. And this is actually extremely important. And uh, let me just display it on our next slide. You can see right here that my buttons frame actually was moved towards the middle. And this could be maybe because your client preferred to have the buttons in the middle and to have more space or, or to simulate windows on each side. It could be it could be anything, right? Like things change and products evolve. So the frame is so useful because since it's a parent widget, all the sub widgets in it are going to move with it, right? So if you're moving something and uh, you didn't want, for example, I didn't want the spacing between my buttons to change or I wanted them to st still be laid out the way that I wanted uh, I wanted them to be laid out, like I wanted to ha them to have that relationship, they would move at the same time and that would not change because they're, they're the child of my frame, right? So if I wouldn't have a frame, I would need to move each one of them individually on my code. And I will definitely show you, show you guys how you can position things on your GUI application on, on my, my next video. But that's the beauty of a frame. If you put things in frames, they have that certain consistency. And if you move one, it's not like you need to move the rest because you just need to move your frame. And, and that's that. And that's uh, actually something extremely useful when you're going to have to change your GUI application or you need to edit it. It's a lot less tedious for you to work with. So that's the end of our video. And um, I actually did it on purpose to split the explanation theoretical side and the practical side. So our next video, it's going to be a lot more coding and we're going to see it on the screen. Um, it's just that there is a lot of information and I don't just want to make a really long video where I'm bombarding you with, uh, with too much information. So um, just uh, make sure you familiarize yourself with all the concepts that I explained on this video. And uh, if you like the video, obviously press the like button, uh, click that subscribe button and uh, click the notifications button to know when I'm at, whenever I'm going to post something. If you didn't like it or if you think I can improve, don't hesitate to leave a comment, guys. Um, I'm all ears for you guys. So uh, without further ado, have a good one.